Now this uh, question 132, you see, it's a concept of central mass you can apply. Here it says that two spherical bodies of mass m and 5m and radii r and 2r are released in free space with initial separation between their centers equal to 12r. So that means surface to surface distance of the bodies will be lesser. The center to center separation is 12r, but you see if you subtract their sizes r and 2r, so these two things are to be subtracted. So that gives you the surface to surface distance between these two masses. Now they are attracting each other due to gravitational force only. That means their center of mass will remain as it is and finally also they will be uh, trying to hit their center of mass. So then the distance covered by the smaller body before collision. Now you see the smaller mass will be moving larger in what ratio? In the reverse ratio of the mass. So this is the total distance to be covered. and in reverse ratio that means 5 is to 1 ratio so I will be multiplying it by 5 by 6 and that will be the correct answer that will be fourth option will be the answer for question number 132 now let us switch over to question number 133 now this uh, question number 133 this related to power consumption in alternating current circuit it says that a resistance R draws power P. So you can straight away write P is equal to V square by R. Isn't it? This is the expression you can have. If an inductance is now placed in series with the resistance such that the impedance of the circuit becomes Z. Now see new power if you want to calculate this is simply V by Z whole square. This is IRMS whole square into R. Now they want what is the new power. So you simply lift the expression V square from here this is equal to PR and substitute here. So this becomes PR multiplied by this R upon Z square. So this is PR by Z whole square and for that matter you will find that the most appropriate answer is option number 2. That is the answer to question number 133. Now let us switch over to question number 134. Now this is a kind of question which is based on current electricity. It is asking you across a metallic conductor of non-uniform cross section. Let us suppose I take a cross section to be like this one, truncated cone kind of thing and connected to a voltage source let us suppose. Remember that in this kind of thing always whatever amount of current will be entering same amount of current has to go out. So in this kind of situation always the current remains constant. You can feel like using the equation I is equal to any VDA if you you, uh, you feel like comparing it with fluid mechanics then also it is possible that it is based on a steady state. If you try to draw the electric lines it will be like these electric field this way. So if you discuss try to discuss all the possible options if they demand what is electric field. So wherever you have larger cross section the electric field value will be less it is not remaining constant. Current density current remains constant not the density area is larger here so current density will be lesser there. If you talk about current this is going to be your answer because they are asking you which remains constant and what is drift velocity so this side larger area so V will be less. So if you talk about drift velocity this will be lesser on the side having larger cross sectional area. But they were asking only what is the quantity that is remaining constant so you should have marked the answer third one that is current. Now let us switch over to the last question that is question number 135 of physics portion. This question is related to a capacitor and uh, it says that a parallel plate capacitor of capacitance C is connected to a cell of EMF B and then disconnected from it. Now the effect of this disconnection is that whatever charge has come on the capacitor that will remain conserved, that will remain stored. And a dielectric slab of constant K which can just fill the air gap of the capacitor is now inserted. So by filling this uh, dielectric slab the capacitance will increase but charge remains uh, same the potential difference will decrease, the electric field will decrease, energy stored will decrease, all such things will happen. Now you have to find out which of the following is incorrect, mind you, incorrect statement you have to find out. First option says that the charge on the capacitor is not conserved, this is not correct, so this will be the answer for this question. 
Second says the potential difference between the plates decreases. This is true statement, but they are asking what is incorrect statement. Rest of the other statements which you have, the energy stored decreases k times. This is correct. Change in energy, you can always calculate Q square by 2C initially, Q square by 2C, C is KC basically. Finally, if you subtract this thing, instead of Q, you write down CV, you will be getting this expression. All these are the correct ones. This one is incorrect. So, this is the appropriate option for question number 135 and that was the last question for physics portion in code G and thank you so much.